Let's solve this equation. Step number one. We're going to square both sides of the equal sign. That is, we're going to square this side and also square this side. Here, we're going to have that the square root of x plus 8 plus the square root of x plus 1 in brackets is going to be 2. And we're going to have that the square root of x plus 8 plus the square root of x plus 1. On this side, we have 49. 7 squared is 49. For the complete video course on this subject, click the link in the description or in the pinned comment section. Next, the square root of x plus 8. Multiply the square root of x plus 8. We're going to have x plus 8. Remember that the square root of a multiplied by the square root of a is a. The square root of mn multiplied by the square root of mn is mn. The square root of x plus 5 multiplied by the square root of x plus 5 is x plus 5. With this concept, we are going to simplify this further. We are done with this. Next, the square root of x plus 8 will multiply the square root of x plus 1. And since we have a plus here, it's going to be the square root of x plus 8 will multiply the square root of x plus 1. The square root of x plus 1 will multiply the square root of x plus 8. Since this have a plus, it's going to be the square root of x plus 1 will multiply the square root of x plus 8. And both of them are multiplying. This multiply this and we got this. This now multiply this and we got this. Next, this will multiply this and you now have this. And finally, this will multiply this. And you're going to get x plus 1. On the other side, we have 49. Next, x plus x will give you 2x. Next, 8 plus 1 will give you 9. Next, if everything here is an orange, an orange plus another orange will give you two oranges and everything here which is x plus 8 and x plus 1 will multiply inside the square root according to the law of sword and on the other side we have 49 next we are going to isolate this, keeping it on this side. That is, 2 multiplied by the square root of x plus 8 and x plus 1. This will multiply inside the square root. And on the other side, we are going to have 49. This will move across and become minus 2x and this becomes 
minus 9. If you simplify this further, you are going to get 49 minus 9 is 40. And here you have minus 2x. Next, this 2 is multiplying. It will move across to divide. And on this side, we are going to have x plus 8, x plus 1, and this are multiplying. And inside a square root. On the other side, we have 40 minus 2x. These two will move across. And on the other side, it will divide. And here, we are going to have x plus 8, x plus 1, multiplying, having a square root. And on the other side, we are going to have 20 minus x. Because 2 into 40 is 20. And 2, we take away 2. Next, to eliminate this square root, we are going to square both sides. If we square both sides, we are going to have that x plus 8, x plus 1, which is multiplying. This is square root. And square root is the same thing as everything here to the power of 1 over 2. Next, everything here will be squared because we are squaring both sides. On this side, we have 20 minus x. And 20 minus x will be squared. We have squared both sides of the equation. Next, these two, we cancel out these two. And you see x plus 8 multiply x plus 1 is free. That is x plus 8 in bracket, x plus 1 in bracket is now free. And on this side, we are now left with, here I now have 20 minus x, all squared. Next, we are going to have x plus 8 in bracket, x plus 1 in bracket, and this is 20 minus x in bracket. We are going to have 20 minus x in bracket. Next, x times x will give you x squared. x times 1 will give you x. 8 times x will give you 8x. 8 times 1 will give you 8. On this side, 20 times 20 will give you 400. 20 times minus x will give you minus 20x. Minus x times 20 will give you minus 20x. Minus times minus will give you plus x times x will give you x squared. Next, we are going to move everything to one side. However, let's simplify this further. This is x squared plus 1x plus 8x will give you 9x. And this is plus 8. On this side, we have 400 minus 20 minus 20 we give you minus 40x. This is plus x squared. Next, we're going to move everything to one side. We're going to have x squared here. This x squared will move across and become minus x squared. Next, we have 
plus 9x here. Minus 40x will move across and become plus 40x. Next, we have 8 here. 400 will move across and become minus 400. On this side, we have 0. Next, x squared. We cancel x squared because x squared minus x squared is 0. Next, 9x plus 40 will give you 49x. Next, 8 minus 400 will give you minus 392. And here is equal 0. Next, we're going to have that 49x is equal, this will move across and become 392. Next, we're looking for x. And here we have 392. Next, we're looking for x. And on this side, we have 392. 49 will move across and is going to divide. Next, x is now 8. And this becomes our answer. In the last step, we are going to test for the accuracy of our result. From the question, we have that this plus this will give us 7. We are going to substitute 8 here and substitute 8 to see whether we are going to get 7. That is, the square root of x plus 8 plus the square root of x plus 1. Here I will have 8 plus 8 square root plus 8 plus 1 square root. 8 plus 8 is 16 plus and this is 9. The square root of 16 is 4. And the square root of 9 is 3. 4 plus 3 will give us 7. Hence, 8 becomes our answer. If you find this video helpful, please click the like button. Also, subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video.